Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. In this video, I'm going to talk about iPad OS 15. Yes, so this is an iPad 8 generation. So this is my personal iPad. As you can see, this is the iPad 8 generation. And yesterday, I installed iPad OS 15. So yes, iPad OS 15, iOS 15, all these are available now. Apple has released iOS 15 as a developer's beta. So you can go ahead and download the developer beta profile. In this video, I'm going to talk about iPad OS 15 and what are the new features and how you can install if you have an iPhone iPad I'm gonna talk about that and also gonna talk about some of the new changes that you can get to see with this iPad OS 15 so this video is gonna be a little bit long but rather I would say interesting so before starting the video I would like to show you when I installed the developers beta profile so I got the update it was around 4.62 GB as you can see so it came in at about 4.62 GB on my iPad 8 generation. So the size might be different depending on which device you have. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can first install iPad OS 15 if you are having an iPad. And if your iPad supports iOS or iPad OS 14, then definitely you would be able to get iPad OS 15 update. So in this video, I'm going to talk about changes and what new is there with iPad OS 15. This video might be a little long, but I would request you to watch this video till the end. And also, if you're new here, do consider giving this video a like. And also, it would mean a lot if you do subscribe to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos. With that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first things first, let me just pull down the notification tray. So as you can see here from the screen, uh, notification looks a little different. So if you look at the notifications, as you can see, notification are grouped together now. So all the similar notifications from the same applications will be grouped together like this. And if you also, you know, uh, have a close look at the notification now the icon looks a little bigger let me just show you so as you can see the icon looks a little bigger and the notification looks a little bit different from ipad os 14 so that was all the notification center now let's talk about the control center if i pull down the control center from the top right as you can see uh, instead of dnd &D, which was do not disturb on ios or ipad os 14 now it has changed to focus you know it it's uh, sorts of relate to the same thing but it has a different functionality let me explain you so as you can see once you click on this focus you can choose do not disturb you can choose personal or you can choose work or you can create new focus so as you can see so you can create your custom fitness gaming reading so it gives you a lot more control over dnd &D. And this is how it changes and the icon looks a little different. I'm not sure whether you are able to notice. So it looks a little different and everything looks cool. Now first let me go to the setting. Let me go to the general section and show you the about settings. So as you can see, I have come to the about section. This is iPadOS 15. If I take at the build number, it says 19A5261W. So this is not a stable version. This is a developer's version. Yesterday I installed the developer's version. As you can see, it's clearly mentioned iPad OS 15 developers beta over here. So if you would like to try iPad OS or iOS, just go to Google from Safari browser and then search. You can search, you know, the uh, download iPad OS 15. So there are many websites available. So from there you can download the developers beta profile. It somewhat looks like this. Let me show you. I have the profile over here. So if I go to my files application, it uh, looks little bit uh, like this. Let me show you iPad OS 15 beta profile, but you have to download it through Safari. Once you download it through Safari, you can see here a notification that says the profile is downloaded. It will be of course a verified profile. You can download your iPad would be automatically rebooted. And after that, go to the general, come to this about section and check for software update. Once you check for software update, you would be able to see iPad OS 15 software, which I got to see yesterday. That is 4.62 GB. So that's how you can download the iPad OS developers uh, beta one update on your iPhone. If you are having an iPhone, then you can download the iOS 15 developers beta one. So I was talking about the changes. Let's go back to that. 
so this is how now the ipad looks like let me just uh, move it around so as you can see this is how it looks like this is the new wallpaper let me go to the settings also let me show you the wallpaper over here so apart from the wallpapers that we already had we have this new uh, wallpaper which looks cool actually so at night it looks like this in the morning or afternoon it will be like this so this is all about the new wallpaper i'm sure in future we'll get to see more wallpapers but now let's talk about the changes so here as earlier as well uh, we have this widget section you know so now you can place your widgets anywhere on the home screen so earlier that was not the case so as you can see here is my home screen one i have already few widgets placed over here so as you can clearly see now if i want to place any widget so i will just long tap i'll click on plus symbol and there are multiple widgets if i see that i have my new find my widget i have multiple widgets so from here if i choose uh, find my widget and would like to place it over my home screen then i would just add in this widget and click on done so it will be just placed like that now i can move this widget uh, wherever i want in the home screen to place it like this if i don't want it simply i will just remove the widget so that's the sort of new functionality that they have added with ipad os 15 and also apart from that you might have noticed that if i just slide over left I get to see this kind of app library. So app library was there in iOS 14, but it was not present in iPad OS. So now they have integrated this, you know, app library, which looks cool. This sort of animation, it actually looks cool. If you go to the right, it automatically pops up. So it actually gives you a better organization of all the app categorized. So that's a nice touch. Apart from that, there are many changes here and there. So if I take a look at the notes application, there is a you know important change to this keyboard if i you know hover my cursor to all this text you can see there is a magnifying glass that actually pops up helps me to select which word i'm selecting it actually helps with the selection very much so that was one of the change and talking about a uh, new application so i can see this magnifying uh, you know application is there uh, default by default with this ipad os so that's something new which i noticed apart from that there is this new translate application that you know comes with ipad os and if i talk about settings let me go back to the settings i wanted to show you something so if i go to this battery now ipad os like ios gets a low power mode so if i come to this battery section as you can see this is how the screen graph and this is how the uh, you know a battery management section looks like but it has not yet got a battery health section like ios has but it has a dedicated low power mode so whenever i want i can turn on the low power mode and turn off the low power mode like uh, it has in ios so that's a nice touch in terms of settings if you look closely here let me just move my ipad so the settings layout has a little bit changed so as you can see this all this uh, categorized section has been you know changed a little bit so if you look closely between ipad os 14 and ipad os 15 it looks a little different but not too much but nevertheless any change is welcome so then again uh, this was a quick video i just wanted to show you how you can download ipad os 15 if you have any device that supports ios 14 that will still support ios 15 and ipad os 15 as that matter so in this video i wanted to show you some of the quick changes and the you know differences between ios 14 and ios 15 so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comment section would you like to see more videos on this ipad os 15 whenever the future update comes out because now i started using ipad os 15 uh, as a developer's profile on my ipad i plan to you know show you all the update future update that i get with my you know ipad os 15 so in my iphone i am using actually ios 14 so ios 15 will roll out for public in the month of september or october with the new iphones so that's expected but in ipad this is not my primary device so i thought of installing ipad os 15 and i thought of sharing it with you guys how this ipad os 15 looks like so many people have their different expectation as apple had released apple m1 ipads but um, kind of disappointed but then again nevertheless the changes which are there actually you know looks cool and looks helpful actually and this was a video on ipad os 15 let me know if you like the video give your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below i would be reading them and i hope you like the video and i will see you on my next video bye bye